in continuation to our previous lecture what i want to say regarding water pollution we were discussing about water pollution so we have already discussed various types of water pollution now today we will start with biological pollution so it is one of the important pollution of water or agent of pollution of water this is biological pollution so what is biological pollution pollution caused due to discharge of bio wastes in the water bodies so the main feature is discharge of bio wastes in water bodies cause the pollution of water there are basically two types of bio waste bodies oxygen demanding bio wastes one is oxygen demanding bio wastes which includes the domestic sewage waste from food processing industries animal excreta dead animal bodies hospital waste etc so what are these oxygen demanding bio waste domestic sewage food processing industries food processing plant we can say waste from food processing plant animal excreta hospital waste and dead animal bodies all these are oxygen demanding biological waste causing water pollution another type of bio waste is disease causing microorganism disease causing microorganisms disease causing microorganisms come from excreta of animals as well as from hospital waste excreta animals as well as hospital waste these two types of bio waste normally contaminated with disease causing microorganisms or which are rather carrier of microorganisms which causing common diseases like water borne disease rather obviously water born disease like typhoid dysentery cholera hepatitis typhoid dysentery cholera hepatitis etc so this is all about biological pollution or effect of discharge of bio waste in the water bodies now we come to effect of polluted water on soil now we come to effect of 
polluted water on soil. This polluted water contain chemical pollutants, chemical pollutants, due to which is run off from the insecticides or pesticides used in the crop fields. These chemical pollutants get absorbed by the soil, by the soil and thereby decreasing the soil fertility, decreasing soil fertility. In fact, acid rain renders the, the soil acidic and unfit for cultivation. So, acid rain also renders the soil acidic which is unfit for crop production or cultivation. So, this is the effect of polluted water on soil. So, we have to keep in mind that this water pollution have a very, very important effect on soil fertility also. So, now we come to the prevention. This is the cause and now we come to the prevention. So, preventing or reducing water pollution. What are the steps we can take to prevent or reduce water pollution? First of all, there are very simple steps. First of all, treatment of sewage. Treatment of sewage will allow only clean water to be discharged into the water bodies. Number two, checking the treatment of industrial waste. Treatment of industrial waste is also help to prevent water pollution. Limited use of pesticides and fertilizers. We know the effects of pesticide and fertilizers, so limited use of pesticides and fertilizers prevent the water pollution. Burning of hospital waste, this is very important. Burning of hospital wastes. As we have just seen that hospital wastes contain microorganisms which effectively contaminated the water bodies. Then proper disposal of dead bodies. These are the major steps which we can take to prevent or reduce water pollution. Now, what are the steps which we can adopt to make water drinkable, which is known as potable water. That is water fit for drinking. The water fit for drinking. So, purification of water in large scales. We can make it something like that. There are two steps. One is 
sedimentation and another is filtration another is filtration and boiling of water or purification of water can be done by boiling and filtering disinfects the water by killing the microorganisms radiating water with uv rays radiating water with uv rays ultraviolet rays it's also helped to kill the germs in the water and then use of bleaching powder use of bleaching powder may also help to purify the water so in this way we can purify the water now finally we come to the bottled water what is bottled water we generally use bottled water outside our room when we are on travel so this bottled water actually made or prepared by a technique known as ro technique or reverse osmosis technique this this reverse osmosis technique is also used in the normal water filter used for the domestic purpose so these are some basic steps we can take to prevent or reduce water pollution we can purify our water for drinking and bottled water the detail technique is not required but the process is the technique is the reverse osmosis process by which bottled water are industrially manufactured so this is all about the water pollution in our next segment we'll discuss some other topic thank you for testing your understanding of this lesson and more videos log on to www.tubelessons.net